All right, guys, still Monday. Uh, trucks outside, as we saw at the beginning, and uh, got my Acura here. Okay, here's what we got. Passenger side right at the bumper. I repaired this thing last year up here. It's now rotting down here. And I'm hoping this is not a telltale that I'm starting to lose my dog leg. I, got, I think that's just a scratch because I can see this, see it coming that way. So hopefully that's a wham bam right there. Um, but I did this whole quarter, or cleared this whole quarter uh, last year about this time. Um, and we blended, I did a solvent melt up here, which is still nearly invisible. I'm pretty happy with that. I think this time though, I'm going to run it right down, all the way down. I don't want to blend it again. Um, I mean, I guess I can. Maybe I'll go a little farther up this time. But I'd hate, I mean, there, you can see a little strange reflection there, and that, that is where the blend is, somewhere in that area. But the problem with that is, I'm worried about uh, trying to blend it again and pick up that old edge because it's so thin. Um, I'd rather just sand it back and uh, eliminate the possibility of that problem or hopefully minimize it Can't say eliminate so That's what we're gonna work on for now I'm gonna get this thing up in the air a little bit get some stands underneath it so that I can work on it So I'll catch you guys after a while this may end up being a Tuesday video because it's already almost four o'clock and uh, I don't know how ambitious I am. I've been here since eight so I did give it a quick wipe down outside. Uh, I had my water outside turned off because it's um, cold and freezing. So it's warm today, but I don't feel like dealing with draining water flying back out. So first things first, I'm going to give this a little waxing grease remover. He likes to wax his car, so we're going to go over all of this. stuff starting to get kind of brittle. I do not want to risk that. As far as breaking any of those clips. I did break one last year when I pulled this one panel off. That's why I stopped and saw the melt up there. So I will uh I might pop this wheel off too just to see what's going on there, but uh, I need to pop up the bumper down. Uh, I have to take out the, the screwdriver here. I need to take out the, the mud flap.
Some of that rust looks like the rope that's coming off of that screw. Yeah, that's rusting a decent ways away. Once I get some rubber out of here. Oh yeah. yeah that's nice. I like that. push rivets that hold the carpeting in around. Actually, I want to say you push in on it. So let's see. This really says you win. impact driver here. Bring you guys over to the party. Maybe. You know, I'm not going to throw you in the trunk. and have to go searching for this bit when it falls off.
c'est voilà. says you gotta grow up. Alrighty. Continue with the uh, with the horse bath we're giving in here. Now this was the first car I used that side jet on last year. I got it to lay that clear on pretty slick. I don't know, the stars must have all been aligned that day. So, anyways. trim clip on it. And two little pieces of double-sided tape. How cute. Yeah, I'll we'll deal with that later. My curiosity is this dog leg right here. That out. We're going to see what our damage is here, and I think I'm going to call it a day. Bastard, sir. 
to the blind man to his deaf friend as he picked up his hammer and saw. All right, that's how that goes. All right, close the door, get the tools out of the door before I decide to close it. Make me a bigger mess for myself. Mm -hmm. Looks like Tony the Tiger got a hold of the back of this door, but that's not part of the job this time. Oh yeah, he's been waxing it. There's wax residue under that door handle. Like I said, guys, he takes good care of his car. Mm -hmm. sense to me because I have a motor guard filter on that and a water trap before it. So, uh, hang on, I get some safety glasses here. Preferably a set of safety glasses I can actually see through. Um, <laughs> so anyways, I, uh, I had the water dripping right out of my, my fitting, and, uh, I opened up the motor guard, shut the air off to it, opened up the motor guard filter, and, uh, the little toilet paper element in it seemed a little wet, and I could see a little moisture inside of it. I always thought that those, um, those type filters, you could dry out the elements in them and they would work pretty good. But I tried it before and it didn't work so well for me. Um, it didn't have much holding capacity because they do pick up some oil and things in them too. And once they get that way, uh, they can't pick up the water anymore. So I went and changed the filter in it and uh, blew out the air hose. It quit spitting water. I continued my, my process after I had already had one coat on that hood that had water drops all over it by the time I realized what the hell was going on. So I pounded another coat of clear on it and uh, it looked good. And then I looked in my cup and said, well, I got a lot of clear left. Let's see what it takes to run it. And I, I was giving it about a five minute flash time and uh, I didn't even turn the heat on in here. It was only like 65 degrees. And uh, I put three coats on it and waited like 15 or 20 minutes and nothing was happening so I just blasted a fourth coat on it and then my father-in-law showed up with the car and he said hey uh, just give me a lift home and you can have the car so I uh, put some thinner in my gun and uh, rinsed it out and got it all cleaned up and I drove him home and I came back and the it shit's running off on the floor so um, probably get away with three coats four is right out four will put it on the floor <laughs> Oh, 
closer. And then we're going to call it quits here because I already know what's going on. That's where I stopped it. There was body filler over some of that stuff, but that wasn't my deal. <laughs> it rotted farther back. So, uh, let's see. Focus, focus. Okay, you can see my welds here. Okay. There was no rust bubbles up in here. I had a rust bubble there and a rust bubble up here. This is not steel that I replaced. So, that's got to come out and this corner's got to come out. I stopped my repair patch right there. I can see my welds going straight up and that son of a bitch rotted right next to it. Not a half an inch away. So, I learned my lesson on that. I definitely got to... Oh, the camera's going to... Man, I might pick it up. Focus, focus, focus. Uh, I got to do something about the bottom of that. So, that's tomorrow's project. I was a little concerned that I, I did a big boo-boo, but that was not my fault. A little Duraglass would have helped that out, but, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was not my repair area. There was filler over it, but there wasn't a, there must have been a, a micro pinhole in there before, but I did not cut that metal out. That metal stopped right there and got welded down and around. That must have been pissed thin right there. Even though I was able to weld to it, no problem. Who would have thought? So, all right, crew, we'll catch you on the flip side.